all watching on Relent Gaming. This is Vegeta, the Prince of all Saiyans. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me. Or else you'll be Hakai! Not Beerus! You know how this works. Make sure you enable all notifications on the channel and watch the entire video all the way through. And don't forget to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. That's enough! On with the video. So with the Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 102 now officially confirming and setting the stage for the upcoming battle involving Ultra Instant Goku versus Beast Gohan, we only now continue to follow the events of both 15 and Carmine originally having to show up and confronting Gohan only to now have Goku return back onto Earth, as with Goku now curious about Gohan's power following the initial information given to him by Whis, the million dollar question now moving forward is will this inevitably end up setting the stage in finding out if Gohan is strong enough to compete and go against Black Frieza? And will this upcoming battle involving both Goku and Gohan finally now give us the answers as to which one of the two warriors is now officially stronger? Now, before we dive any further into this video, if you are new to the channel and of course have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball related, including its manga, anime, video games, fan animations, fan mangas, and more, in which would also like to be kept up to date with everything in regards to the Dragon Ball Super manga, the Dragon Ball Super anime, Dragon Ball video games, and any and all additional content within the Dragon Ball universe, then I do encourage you guys to to head on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to always be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto the channel as well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply excited to see what the future holds for the Dragon Ball franchise and with all that being said as courtesy of this month's VJ magazine along with DBS hype and DBS Chronicles over on Twitter the following Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 102 leaks images spoilers and information goes as follows now as of course you guys can see here on your screen it looks as though what goku ends up doing the moment he comes back to earth is not only does he end up bringing gohan and goten and trunks onto beerus's planet but it seems as though what goku ends up doing is he actually goes on ahead to volunteer goten and trunks to battle against gohan instead as with gohan immediately jumping into super saiyan it doesn't seem as though gohan is going to have any concern against battling goten or trunks whatsoever because as soon as we see here in the next shot ahead both saiyan man x1 and saiyan man x2 really don't seem to stand a chance against gohan Gohan and it's not as though the boys ever really stood a chance against Gohan to begin with but what I think is really cool here is to actually see the boys have a moment to themselves and getting a moment to be in the spotlight some more but even then it doesn't appear as though Gohan is going to be sweating these two whatsoever because as of course you guys can see the very moment the boys begin to then realize that they really don't stand a chance in going against Gohan in a 1v1 fight what the boys end up trying to do instead is they try to double team Gohan but that really doesn't end up working in their favor because it ultimately fails to to begin with and you can see that on both Goku and Vegeta's faces because even then with Gohan scalding them as Trunks is blaming Goten, Goten is blaming Trunks, it's fairly evident that the two aren't going to do much in their base forms alone so what they end up doing instead is they both end up attacking Gohan again after transforming into a Super Saiyan by attempting to blast him and even despite with their movements being synchronized as of course you guys can see, neither Super Saiyan Goten or Super Saiyan Trunks could do anything to catch Gohan to begin with mind you while everyone else is looking on so this this is a very bad situation for the boys because they really can't do anything to even lay a hand on Super Saiyan Gohan to begin with so what they end up doing instead and that's ultimately end up doing what they typically do when they know that they can't stand the chance against the opposition except only this time the running gag of Goten and Trunks messing up the fusion is fairly evident because as of course you guys can see Goten and Trunks inevitably end up fusing back into fat Gotenks with everyone looking shocked except for Beerus and Vegeta of course with Gohan even being surprised by this which is a little weird because we saw them kind of get the fusion right towards the end of both the movie and the manga adaptation, right? So for them to use this run-on gag, as of course you guys can see with Gohan being visibly disappointed by this, we really can't get an accurate gauge as to where Gotenks would stand against Ultimate Gohan, but it's not as though that would even be a fight to begin with, but it's still something that we've seen time and time again, to which as of course you guys can see here, Gohan just doesn't even sweat Gotenks to begin with, he ends up kicking him in the face and knocking Gotenks away, so this really isn't something 
anything of any stature that's going to give the boys any sort of rep by battling against Gohan like this, so instead, with Goku and Gohan now taking center stage and having to bow to one another and acknowledging one another's power prior to Goku being shown jumping into Mastered Ultra Instinct, this had now become the very moment where you knew that things were about to get extremely serious because Goku understood that Gohan was nobody to mess with, especially after this weird power up now. So what Goku wants to end up doing instead is he wants to go all out max power from the beginning, which inevitably prompts for Gohan to do the exact same because as of course you guys can see here, almost in a calm like demeanor as Gohan was shown taking a deep breath and getting ready to unleash that beast form once again, was when Gohan then went as far as to open his eyes in unleashing this power for the first time, mind you, in front of Whis, Beerus, Broly, and Vegeta alongside his father who had never seen this before. As to the shock of both Vegeta and Goku, to which as of course you guys can see, this was now the first time that Beast Gohan had made his presence known in shocking everybody that was presently there watching this, to which you can even see it upon Goku's face that he was nervous and having to battle this version of Gohan, but according to the early translations, Goku does acknowledge the fact that Gohan is freakishly strong now compared to before, and really wants for Gohan to go all out to which Goku wants to see where his son currently stands, as the very moment to which they do, as of course with Vegeta being shown watching as he was nervously also shown smiling, it didn't seem as though neither Goku or Gohan were going to break a sweat and having to be nervous or showcase any kind of fear or hesitation for this battle because as of course you guys can see, the moment the two began to vanish is when all hell began to break loose on Beerus' planet with everyone having to watch very, very carefully because with shockwaves and explosions occurring all around the planet, what Broly ends up doing is grabbing onto Lemo before Lemo was shown flying away and yes, both Carmine and 15 are on Beerus' planet to which Gotenks actually went as far as to stop the car from flying away, so it kind of was Goku's idea inadvertently to bring these two onto Beerus' planet to begin with, but nevertheless, the moment Gohan and Goku begin to engage, to which as of course you guys can see, neither of the two look scared, and neither of the two look nervous, and neither of the two look as though they're overwhelmed by the other, but instead, you can kind of go as far as to make the argument that they're both confident, that they're very sure of their power against the other, and so, with the overall exchange between them kind of looking as though they're evenly matched for the time being, that is exactly what is shown taking place to which as they vanish with Beerus and Whis having to look on, both Goku and Gohan seem as though they're fighting to a stalemate because nobody seems to be winning but nobody really seems to be losing either and so the only individual that is sitting on the ground that seems to be very angry by this is of course Beerus because as of course you guys can see, Whis had to go as far as to put up a barrier to literally protect everyone from the shockwaves and the intensity that is taking place on Beerus' planet now because the two seem to be going back and forth in such a way to which as of course you guys can see here, that the entirety of Beerus' planet is shaking, the water is flying off of the planet, the trees are being ripped from the ground, and so the whole time while Goku and Gohan are engaging, they both seem to be smiling, and they both seem to be kind of having a good time to kind of find out as to where they both stand against the other after so many years, in which even towards the very end with Goku and Gohan now getting ready to amplify their power even more, the only person right now that seems to be very angry by this is none other than Beerus, because not only is the entirety of his planet being destroyed by this, but he's also very angry at seeing the fact that these two seem to be at such a level and at such odds against the other that it seems to be irking his spirit while he's watching this, and so it looks as though the manga chapter is also going to be ending off on kind of like a cliffhanger in finding out what Gohan and Goku are going to be doing coming up next in March, because Vegeta seems to be proud by watching this, We seems to be curious on finding out who's stronger, Broly seems to be mesmerized at seeing such a fight, and being Beerus seems to be very angry at the fact that number one, these two seem to be at such a level to which it might be bothering him in the overall idea that they might be creeping up to his level to begin with, but what I would like to know from you guys down in the comment section below is which side are you guys on? Are you guys for Team Gohan or are you guys for Team Goku? And number two, who do you think is going to win this battle by the very end? Is Gohan going to end up beating Goku or is Goku going to end up beating Gohan? Or do you think by some chance this is going to end off in somewhat of a stalemate by giving us a draw because we will be getting additional information, spoilers, and a summary for this manga chapter to which you do not want to miss out on. So if you just so happen to be new to this channel and of course love Dragon Ball and anime, then I do encourage for you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button. On top of giving this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below, only because right now we are getting inarguably some of the most awesome stuff from Dragon Ball that we've gotten in quite some time. And so this excites me only because I want to see maybe if Vegeta is going to get involved, if Broly's going to get involved, if maybe Beerus is going to get involved, and if Gohan inevitably ends up 
beating Goku, if that's the direction that they want to go on ahead and take Gohan's character in, then does this essentially mean that we're going to be setting up for a future fight involving Black, Frieza, and Beast Gohan? So again, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, to which once more, I want to thank you all so much for watching, everybody. Thank you all so much for your time. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below. Tune back in for more. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, everybody, and have a great day. Peace. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video.